Hey YouTube, this is Zach with Achilles Financial. Thanks for stopping by today. Today we're going to be looking at call options. So this is going to be the first in a series I plan on doing on how I personally trade on Thinkorswim utilizing the web version. I know a lot of you out there who utilize Thinkorswim are using the desktop version and for the most part the reason why I utilize Thinkorswim web is because I trade oftentimes utilizing my work computer and because of that I don't have the capability to download TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim on their desktop. So for that reason most of my trading is using the web version. I have never really had an issue with it and for that reason for the most point I actively utilize this for buying options, buying and selling stocks, and the like. So today I want to start by talking about call options, in particular buying calls, and on the reverse side we'll talk about selling calls. One of the reasons why I like utilizing TD Ameritrade and in particular Thinkorswim is because what I like to do is see the capability of what the option will do here in this screen right here. So as you can see it'll showcase kind of where the price is what it looks like and where it could go and what that price will be. You can see right here in the top left hand corner of this particular box it'll show you the price as of today as well as the price of that particular option. So this is one of the key reasons I utilize the software because it is very easy to understand and it makes sense. So the first thing I want to talk about is buying a call option. So generally speaking, if you are buying a call option, that means that you are actively expecting the stock to go up or you are bullish on the stock. Again, bullish means you expect it to go up. Bearish means you expect it to go down. So a option is the right to purchase or to sell a block of 100 shares. So a call is the right to purchase a block of 100 shares. So right now I am looking at Apple, Apple Inc. And if I were to make this option of buying the 136, this would give me the capability to, if the stock price by the end of this week is over $136, right now it's at 135.40, that I would have the potential at any point in time this week to purchase the stock for 100 shares for $136 a share. So obviously to be able to do that, I would need to have $13,600 in my account to do so. That is the general premise and the general reason behind someone would be doing options trading. However, myself included, for the most part, a lot of people are using options to flip them, to buy them and then sell them to the people who are actually looking to exercise the option. So what I am looking to do here is if I were bullish on Apple, I would be purchasing the 136 option. If the stock goes up by a dollar, then I would expect the premium, which is the number right here of coincidentally 136. I would expect that to go up at which point in time I would sell the options contract. So that is the pricing that you see down here below. As you can see, my profit loss is that 136 because my max risk is how much I am paying for this option right here. And then by the end of the this week, which would be this Friday, you can see that depending on where the option finishes is how much money I would make. Keep in mind this green line over here on the right hand side is profit loss. So if the stock finished at $138, like so, it would say that I would profit loss $64. So this $64 would be what I would get back on top of my $136 investment. So I'd actually be getting at right at $200 in cash total. Keep that in mind that you're not just getting $60, but rather you're getting that full investment back on top of that. And the reason I like that this, this approach right here is because again, you can see as the stock begins to move, you've got that blue line which showcases what price you would be getting that day as well. So this is buying an option. One thing that I would always suggest when you are buying option, just some tips and tricks, tips and tricks, I very rarely ever buy the weekly option, especially this February 19th. The market is going to be closed tomorrow 
February 15th. So this is really a four day option and a lot can change in four days. So if the stock goes the wrong direction, you can lose a lot of money. As you can see, there is a lot more flexibility by purchasing an option kind of a little farther out of the money where you can see this March 12th, that's 26 days away. That same option of 136 is very or significantly more expensive. Keep in mind the way that options are priced are often due to two items, one being the volatility of the stock inclusive of momentum. So if the stock is going up, a call option will be worth more. Whereas if a stock is going down, a put option will be worth more. So as you can see here, yes, you are paying for a higher premium, but overall it's going to be a safer investment and it gives you the capability to go different directions. So again, if the stock goes up, then you can always sell out of this. If the stock goes down, you can still hold it and you don't have to panic sell because now all of a sudden the stock goes down $2 and you're down 50% on your original investment. So that's one of the things I always encourage people to do is don't buy weekly options unless you are gambling with that money. I think that longer term options are definitely an investment whereas shorter term options are definitely more gambling based. The other thing that you can do is you can utilize this to purchase something called a leap. So generally speaking, a leap is greater than 12 months. In this situation, what we'll do is we will go out to January 21 of 2022. You can see that they have less options available here because again, this is what the market maker is looking for. They are offering a limited amount of options trades here. What I am looking at or in this scenario, if we were to do that $140 option price right here, you can see that to purchase this option, that would give you or it would cost you essentially $1,700. So you would have to pay $1,700 for this option or $1,695 in this case. However, what this would enable you to do is purchase the stock for $140 per share or $14,000 for 100 shares. That you can see would be beneficial because if the stock was $170 by this time next year, you can see that you would profit $1,400 off of that trade. And this is the incentive or the idea behind purchasing these longer term options. Again, they have a lot of time so they can generally be safer as well. With that in mind, let's talk about the reverse side of these options where again, you can sell a call. So that's what this option choice or selection is right here, the buy or the sell, I have the capability of selling a call option. Now this is something that I recommend that unless you have the underlying shares to make this a covered call, I personally have never and will never sell a what is called naked call. A naked call is selling my right or essentially I will give you the right to, I will give you the option that you can buy $140 worth of shares from me or 100 shares at $140, so $14,000 worth, but I would have to cover the difference if the stock price is higher than this. So as you can see, yes, someone's willing to pay you in this instance $35 right here. However, if the stock were to go to $145 a share, you would lose $470. And that's $470 off of an initial investment that you would have to put up $14,000 plus you now have to cover the difference between those two numbers. I personally am not very familiar with cover or naked calls because I would never, and I can't emphasize this enough, I would never offer this option to anyone. The reason for that is is $35 worth the potential where the stock could actually go to $180 by the end of this week for who knows what reason, at which point in time you would be out $4,000 off of a small investment to start with. So never sell naked calls. However, I'll showcase an option where I sell covered calls, which if you look at my channel, we've got a lot of videos here, where what I oftentimes will do is I will sell the right to my shares. That's what this covered call is right here. So if you have 100 shares, such as I do of IMMR right here, which is Immersion Corp, I am offering my right to purchase my shares at $15 a share. 
So as you can see, I bought Immersion Corp shares for 1215 as my average price. And what that looks like if I make the selection for the two options is that I am offering someone the capability of if the stock price is over $15 a share by the end of this week, then I will walk away after having sold my 100 shares at $15. Keep in mind, I am having to sell the shares. However, someone paid me for that right. You can see right here that the trade price was 50 cents. Again, these are in blocks of 100 shares, which means I was provided $50 to be able to go out and finance or basically utilize this transaction. So this $50 popped up in the left-hand side over in my cash balance, which means I could go out and spend that $50. However, what that means is I can't buy or I can buy more shares but I could not sell my 100 shares of IMMR until the end of this week unless I wanted to purchase back that contract. So as you can see, that contract has gone up and down in value. Right now it says I have a loss of $30. However, I win on this trade if the stock price doesn't go over $15.50 because I was paid for that premium. So if the stock price goes up all the way to 1551 I would have quote unquote lost on that trade however as you can see I'm still walking away with 333 dollars of profit off of an initial $1,215 investment keep in mind that this is not the first time that I've sold a covered call on this individual stock it's going to be the second which means again this is going to be walking out with right at a $1,400 investment from an, or right at a $450 profit off of a $1,215 investment. So these are my personal favorite type of options play because they are guaranteed profit. Your only risk is if the stock goes up, for example, last week, it was all the way up to $1,655. And as I'm sure you can understand that I would lose money on that trade or rather I would miss out on gains. So really what we want to look at or focus on is we're going to look at buying and selling these call options. Again, my recommendation is to practice to, because practice makes perfect. It doesn't have to be something expensive like Apple, but you can look at a company like Ford just to see how the options price moves. But again, I like to go a little out of the money. So again, something like a 139 for March 5th, and you can see the potential here. Keep in mind that if the momentum doesn't swing your direction, the options price here is going to have a pretty significant impact. So you're going to see a pretty large decrease. Options are designed to go to zero. So the closer you get to this date and the closer that the, or the farther away from that 139 you are, the more money it's going to show you losing. However, all it takes is one swing and if the stock went back up to that 145 mark, then you'd be sitting on $500 in profit. So there's a lot going on in the options world. There's a lot of different ways you can make money. I would heavily encourage Practice Makes Perfect. As you can see, TD Ameritrade does offer paper trading. I think that this is very beneficial and worth learning how the stock trades and some of the different ways that you can go and make these trades yourself. That being said, if you aren't going to pay attention to this, then make sure that whatever money you do have applied to options, you don't put in all at once and rather you do a few different trades to learn how that approach can work. So that being said, I do recommend Practice Makes Perfect. Feel free to drop your comments down below with any questions you may have, or if you have any additional questions, feel free to drop those into the Discord and I'll have that descript or that link in the description. So if you found this content helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know down below. Thanks. Talk to you later.